What's up guys? It is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad, and today guys and gals, yours truly will be talking about and sharing my thoughts on the horror elements of Cormac McCarthy's Blood Meridian, Blood Meridian or The Evening Redness in the West. This book guys and gals is without question my all-time favorite and the book which I consider Cormac McCarthy's magnum opus. This book guys and gals is so brilliant, so well written, and the way this book is structured, I can't even uh, describe it in words guys and gals this book it goes into areas which like you know it really uh, tests your patience it tests your uh uh, ability to decipher its meaning and certain words that McCarthy uses, how he lays out the story, the story of the kid, and there's a point in the story in which the perspective, the point of view shifts from the kid to the judge, Judge Holden, aka the judge, and Captain Joel Glanton, leader of the Glanton gang, which the judge and the kid are a part of, but the point of view shifts from the kid to those two, and it's quite strange and yet so fascinating how like you know we follow the story of the kid and all of a sudden without us even realizing it the point of views have shift and the kid is still mentioned but we follow the judge and we learn his outlook on how he views the world the judge guys and gals is the main reason why the horror works so well in this book i can't even describe the judge as some kind of person who is evil or has evil qualities because the judge is very much evil and Carnet. The judge is evil itself, guys and gals. In the same way Morgoth or like, you know, uh, Melkor was in the uh, Lord of the Rings, Sir Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, or the Emperor was in Star Wars, George Lucas's Star Wars. And above all else, guys and gals, the judge is a creep. I mean, he is such a devious, very malignant and vile creep. He gets under your skin in ways it will leave you shocked, it will leave you feeling dirty inside, and it will leave you feeling vile violated in the same way the kid felt violated. Simply being around the judge can leave anyone feeling that way. And the judge has this very insane and very twisted fascination and desire for the kid. I think you guys and gals know what I'm getting at, but the judge, suffice to say, is so creepy, so unnerving, and flat out scary. He terrifies me in ways I can't even describe. The judge, guys and gals, is such a monster in the way he used the world, the way he manipulates others, and the way he seeks to rob those of their innocence and soil them beyond repair. It's so disturbing and so vile. The judge is really inhuman. Yet that's what makes him so scary, guys and gals. His views on the world, his nihilistic views can leave anyone stunned. As educated, knowledgeable, and well-versed as the judge is, he really is insane and evil. This story, guys and gals, is not really an anti-Western kind of tale. It's very much a deconstruction of the Old West. The judge is a character who will always stick with me as he did the kids but thank you guys and gals for watching hope you enjoyed the video and happy halloween please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my gaming channel where i do let's play series gaming contents and so much more until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara